Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Come again. Saints, it's good to be back with you again. I hope all you're doing fine and doing good on this beautiful day. We thank the Lord for making this day possible. This we appreciate all your prayers as usual. Thank God that you keep one another up in prayer and God will watch over and keep us during this whole time. You know, we thank God for all this stuff that's going on over these different cities, all this stuff. Right and stuff like that. I, you know, I, I understand it's frustrating, but it may be going by the wrong way. But you know, we don't say that in you know, uh, But we just have to pray for our citizens, pray for the people. Thank God they're going through this stuff. I think God, some kind of way, the Lord can work this out some kind of way. So I appreciate your prayer. Listen, we appreciate the tuning in. Those you asked you to get the Bibles, and we're gonna read along with me uh, as we go through the service today. We're gonna go in prayer for a moment. Ask God to bless this service and speak by His Spirit. Praise God. God bless you. Now. Holy Father, thank you. Lord, I thank you, Master, for this day, Lord. Thank you for giving us another opportunity, Lord. We, Lord, it ain't nothing like face to face with people, but Father, I thank you for this. You're making this possible, making this so. And I ask you today, Lord, to speak to us. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Speak to the ears. That they may hear your voice. And God bless me to speak your voice. Father, bless me to speak your mind. God, help me to speak your will this day. Be my guide, Lord. Be my director. God, by your name, Jesus, I, I submit myself. And I submit God this service. And I bow it. At your feet today, I bow this word and, and all the people that bow the hearts and the minds of your people before you this day, Lord, asking you, Jesus, to touch our minds and touch our hearts. And Lord, from heaven, feed us. Open up that we can understand your word, God. Lord, move for the sick that be among us, deliver the bound. God, move for our nation some kind of way. I pray if you. God, I know you, I believe you're in control. I believe you're in charge, Lord. And I'm asking God to give us peace, God, as we ride along with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. Lord, we send prayers out for Sister Cora. God, I heard she had a stroke sometime back here, but Lord, she needs your strength. She needs your deliverance. And God, we send prayer for her and her family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, rebuke every divine spirit of Satan. Bind it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, move for the people, all the people. God, by your spirit, we pray. Keep us covered with your blood, Lord, and hid behind your cross, I pray. Oh, God, by the Holy Ghost, be it so, Lord. I'm asking you, Father, stand up. God, stand up for your people. Stand up among your people, Lord, and be this God, Lord, that we read about. And this God that we profess. Us. In the name of Jesus Christ, every evil, wicked spirit. I'm asking you, Lord, rebuke it. Stop it. You told the Lord that the enemy would come upon us like a flood. God, that your spirit will raise us, standing up against it. Now, Lord, raise us, stand up against the foul devil, the foul spirit, God, that coming upon your people like a flood. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God, help us to find that place in you, that place of protection, that place of safety. Help us, keep us to cause ourselves to be humble down before you. Be at your feet, Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, give me utterance today to speak to you. Bless me to speak by the Holy Ghost. Give me the hearts and minds of these, Lord, that'll be tuned in today to this. Lord, to this, to this service. And Lord, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you. Praise God. Now give my hand, pray. We appreciate the Lord again. Good to see your faces. Somebody said, Brother, you can't see. Yeah, I can see your face. Thank God. I can see it by faith. I can see it. Thank God. We really appreciate you for joining in. And uh, I hope you get your Bible with. We're going to read through. I talked to someone yesterday. That's the Brother Austin. That, uh, so I'll be listening to you. I'll be listening to your broadcast. So I, I get my Bible out and I read it right along with and go. I said, Well, praise God. See? And they says it'll be a strength to us. So we pray that God, the word that we bring, it be a strength to you. it be a help. You know, Peter told the elders to listen here. To feed the flock of God, taking the old sight that are willing with a ready mind. You know, that's my 
That's what I'm trying to do. We may not be uh, together personally, face to face, but it's still, it's still my call, my job to try to feed the flock, to feed you, to encourage you, to strengthen you, to keep you holding on. So still, regardless, I may be in my home, you may be in your home, but still, that's still what God has us to do. We still got to be fed. And we ain't at Jesus here. Feed us from heaven. Feed us from this bread. Feed us this living bread from heaven. And I appreciate the Lord. I, if you get your Bible, thank God. I want you to read along with me. No, this is church time. You know, This ain't just a time of you watching a video. This is church time. We are having service today. And I, and I really appreciate your prayer. Thank God for all you that called. And, uh, and, uh, and we wishing us well. We appreciate that. We praying for all of you and your family. And God will keep you and sustain you. Praying for those that are in a in, probably in a place of decision. They don't really be trying to make their mind of what to do, which way to go. So we are praying for them. All our loved ones, our sons and daughters and and, and younger people that maybe hadn't decided, fully decided what way they want to go. We're praying that God somebody get a hold of them. Thank God, because we are in a critical time now. Everybody needs Jesus. Everybody needs to get a hold of Jesus. And I'm asking God, Lord, help us just get a hold of you. I'm trying to get a hold of him. Not as much as I probably need to or should be, but I'm I'm trying. I'm asking God to help me to, you know, he touch me some kind of way and lead us by your spirit. And we'll pray. We don't know when all this stuff is going to be over. We, have, we feel confident going back into the house of God. But you just keep us in prayer. We be praying one for another. Got to some kind of way. We got to move up on our heart when the when they do. The Bible says we are led by the Spirit of God and we are the sons of God. This is the main thing we're trying to do is be ask Jesus to lead us and guide us. You know, not to do what other people are doing or say what other people say, but to be led by God's Spirit. He may have me going one way and have you going another way, but we need to all be led by the Spirit of God. So. It ain't, the, it ain't the easiest task in the world. Thank God we got to make with our mind that this is what we want. Thank God. So we're going to go into the Word of God. We're going to be going to the first script. We're going to go to Hebrews 1, and then we'll go to Jude, and then he feeds. But we're going to go to Hebrews 11, chapter, and verse. I'm going to read one verse there. And I appreciate you tuning in, listening in to the. You know, as I say often, you call somebody, let them know to tune us in. You know, I think it'd be a help to me, be a blessing, because that's what we're all about. They're trying to help folks, they're trying to encourage them, you know, trying to strengthen them to hold on fight. You know, we got to fight this good fight, man. This is what it's all about. The battles of the race ain't given to the swift, and neither is the battles of the strong. You know, so we're not looking at how strong or how fast we are, but we're asking God to God give us that endurance. And this is what I'm trying to do. It's to help people to have endurance strength, have endurance power. That they're making no difference what they're going through. They, they be willing to fight. They be willing to hold on. Thank God. Hebrew 11. And, and, and I'm going to read the one verse. That's the first verse. And we appreciate this. Listen. Hebrew. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And the Bible says faith is. This is what faith is. It's the substance of things hoped for. Whatever you hope for, faith is the substance of it and the evidence of the thing not seen. In other words, you know, you you have that conviction that it's there. It's the evidence. It's we, 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 Lord, I'm convinced that it's there. I'm convinced that the thing I'm asking you for, that it's actually there. And, and we got to be on this conviction. This is what faith is, the substance of things that you hope for material of it and the evidence you know you, you see it there although you can't see it but you see it there but listen how do we get to this place you just can't pop up and say yeah I, I got the faith it's the we got to find a way to get to that place what is that faith is the something thing hope for and the evidence of thing not seeing it and that just the easy thing in the world I think we fighting a devil out here we fighting spirits out here folks that Doing everything you can to hinder you, stop you, to cut you off. So we got to we got to get in that place. How do we get in that place where we believe that that faith is the sudden? I know they said now faith. A lot of people preach it now faith. Talking about right now faith, but I don't think that this this is what this now means. It's just telling this in now. It's the subtle thing hope for, and the evidence of thing not seen. But before we got to we got to find a way to get there. I'm trying to find a way. I believe 
The word of God is ever sell, as some say. 119. The word of God, thy word, O Lord, is ever sell in heaven. I believe that. I believe that. And I believe God, whatever God says, I believe that's exactly the way it is. But you know what? We got to find a place. We got to find a way to get to that place. He just can't get you by saying, you got to, man, search out. Say, God, help me. Just keep reaching out to God. Keep hung. God, help me to believe that faith is the substance of thing hope for. And the evidence of thing not seen. Listen to, listen to Jude. A Jew telling us here to honestly, listen, Jude 1. Jude 1 and verses, well, I'll be reading 1 through 3. Listen to what it says, 1 through verse 3. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ. And call mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Listen. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the coming salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should under contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the... So we got to under contend for this faith. You know? Jews said it was needful for me to, to, to write unto you, that you about this coming salvation, about the, that you were under contend for it. We got to underly contend for this faith. You know, the Bible tells us that we can say unto this mountain, be thou removed, speak to the fig tree. But we got to find out, we got to get to that place. We got to keep praying. So God help us, get, you, your word is real, your word is ever self, your word is steadfast, and God help us to only contend to get in this place, only contend for that faith that were once delivered unto the saint. Saint, only contend that, that what the scripture said about faith is the substance of thing and the evidence. Man, the conviction, the guarantee that you, that you know it's there even though you can't see it. You know it's happening. You don't see no signs of it. We got to find a place. We got to uns contend. God, get us into this place where we can believe what we can't see. If your word tell us, we'll believe it anyway. We don't have to see it. We'll believe it. Honest to fight every day. Strive. Do what we can. Look, I'm asking God, God, give me the faith, this kind of faith that the Bible speaks of. Give me this kind of faith, Lord. Help me to honest contend. I know God's word is real. I know it's right. And I know they don't fail you in it. But God, help us. Honest contend, boy. This faith, this, this thing you desire now, thing you praying for, thing that you've been asking God for. Now get the find that faith. Find a place. Get in that place. So I said, God, help me to give me the faith. I know you say you ain't no man that you should lie. You don't lie. You don't say stuff to be saying stuff. But God help me get in a play where I can. One scripture says you can say what you will. And it shall be done. God help us to only contend. This is a play where we got to honest contend for that faith that we want to live unto the saint. Man, we got to do everything we can to use the honest contend for it. You know, it just don't come like that just by. Sin, we got to really get down to, we got to push all, ask God to push all doubt aside. Get everything else out. Move everything. Well, we can see nothing but you, Jesus. But we can believe in nothing but your word. Hear your word and only contend. We got too much distraction out here. You got to know that we somebody else pray for that. It didn't happen for them. You know. Man, we, we our loved ones get in trouble. You got to believe in us. Contend. Got to get in play where we can say, God, now I pray for some of my loved ones. I said, God, I said, I'm at you. There's a way out. Oh, that's a way. That's a way of delivering. Let me tell you something, folks. There is a way of delivering. I'm not calling no name, but there is a way. I know there's a way for God to deliver. Man, the, the, the situation, the circumstance could look dire now, could look bleak, could look dark. But let me tell you something, folks. We, we are striving to get in that place of faith where we, can, we know, God, you can deliver. There is a way out of, out of the situation that we get in, that our loved one get in, that is a way out of there, and we are honestly contending for that faith, that we can speak it, that we can say it, and that God will honor it. Honest contend for it. That, folks, there's a way out, but we got to honest contend for it. God said, you need to honest contend for it. So there's hope out there. There's deliverance out there. There's a way out there. Think of it. You got to honest contend for it. You got to... Sometimes we have to go through stuff, you know. Oh, peace and listening, I ain't going to deny you. 
You know, but Peter had never experienced nothing. He had never went through nothing. And he would deny Jesus. Jesus, yeah, you, that, that time you will. You, you won't deny me, but you ain't been through nothing. You ain't been tested right now, so you're saying stuff. He said, but there is a time, there's a place in me, thank God, that you can get to where you won't deny me. And, folks, there's a place in God that we can get to if we are honest content for where we can, if there be a need for us to say unto the mountain, speak unto that mountain. If there be a need for us. I'm telling the day, folks, there is a place in God. I, I know there's a place in God. I said, God, help me. I know your word is right. Your word is real. Lord, put this in me. Make this alive in me. Make this alive. Wake this up in me, God. But, oh, there ain't no shortness in God's word. Man, I want to encourage you to, man, hold on. Thank God. I'm just content for that faith. It wants to live unto the same thing. We need that faith today. Everything going on around us, you know, all this stuff that's going on in our cities. And we just have that faith to keep looking to Jesus, keep our eyes up on Jesus. That's in God to help us. Listen to Ephesians, say, listen to Ephesians, Ephesians 6. Thank you, Father. Listen, I, I, I contend, folks, for that faith. Put the one, deliver them to the same. We got to, we got to press our way into this thing. Ephesians 6 and verses, one verse, verse 12. Listen. For we rise not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, against the ruler of the dawn of this world, against spiritual weakness and high. The Bible says we, we, listen, we ain't rise against flesh and blood. We rise against spirit. Spirit out there that don't want us coming to this place of faith. Man, we rise, so that's why we got to only contend for it. Man, we got to strive for it. We're not rising in flesh. We're rising in the spirit out there that want to keep us away from the Because we know if we have faith in God, the Bible says, if you have faith in God, all things are part of them that believe. And the devil knows this. But some kind of way, we got to roll up our sleeve, man. We got to, man, roll up our britches leg, and we got to battle our way through this thing. There is a, a secret place in God. Thank God, God didn't just tell us this. He said, man, whatsoever you ask in my name, I will do it. And that is the word of God. And I believe it today. I believe it's true. God help us to get in a place where all doubt to be moved out the way. All doubt and all disbelief be moved out the way. Thank God we got stuff out there that, man, that presenting itself up like old Goliath presented itself. Thank God before the army of God. Man, and putting fear on, there's things out there presenting itself before us. Man, to try to knock our faith because God worried. The devil know God worried is ever selling. And those words ain't going to fail. It ain't coming back to him. Boy. And so what the devil done is trying to knock our faith just whatever God told us. That's exactly what can happen. It's the subtle thing, hope for. And the evidence of things, you know, Abraham didn't stagger. The Bible says Abraham didn't stagger the promise of God, but was strong in faith. Just because he said, well, I got faith. Look, at your faith got to be tried. You got, you got to go through. You got to be, this thing got to be proven for them, telling you. So the old brother don't say, yeah, I'm saying that if you ain't been through nothing, then you don't even know what the God will deliver or not. You just know what the word says. You don't know what the God deliver or not. You don't know if God, you ain't never been saved. You don't know if God's saved or not. You ain't never been delivered by stuff. I know he's a deliverer. Man, I know he'll break that old alcoholic spirit. I know this. Thank God been through it. And Jesus delivered me. I, I, man, I believe him to keep me and to sustain me and carry me the rest of the way. We got to contend for it. Man, I want to say to this mountain, I love to speak. It's stuff right now. I love to speak different situations and stuff like that. Has God, your word is real. Lord, help me to, help me to find. God, help me to find this place. Help me to find. Man, this place. And you just pray that God's word prevail. And it's going to prevail, but I might end up through what we ask him. Oh. Thank God, honor contend for it. Jesus, uh, 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 Paul tells us in Ephesians, we are not wrapped in flesh and blood. Let me tell you, the spirit, folks, that's why we got to wrap. That's why we got to honor contend. That's why we got to uh, uh, strive. That's why we got to, man, have our mind made because there's other spirits out there that we're wrapped with principalities, spiritual weakness, all the force of the enemy. Thank God, don't want us to make it. You want to prove God's word wrong. You want to prove God's word don't come to pass. Don't mean what it says it means. So we got to, man, we got to honor the everyday contend for it, fight for it, strive for it. So God help me. 
I know you got some mountain out that need to be moved out the way. You got problems. You got family problems. You got your problem for yourself. Then you got spirit that you're wrapping with. You're trying to get rid of. You won't got to move them things. Thank God we got to honest contend for it. And we can speak it. Bible tells us that and, and, and Mark that what's the thing we desire when we pray and we believe them. Believe that we receive them and we shall have. Now that's the word of God, folks. How many of us in that place? How many, how many of ask stuff and ask stuff and ask stuff and ask stuff and ain't nothing happened yet? It'll be according to God's will. But the, Jesus telling us this and listen here. Have faith in God. Have a God kind of faith. And just like I spoke that fig tree thing, you can do the same thing. Thank God Jesus didn't see that fig tree. He saw it. He saw it in his mind. He saw it in his faith. He saw, he saw faith. And they saw faith work after that fig tree died up. Jesus spoke this stuff in faith. And he said, ain't nobody going to eat nothing of you no more. Never no more. Thank God it didn't, uh, it wasn't dead right there. It was dead right there, but it didn't appear to be dead. You know, but thank God, this is the power of faith. This is the power of faith. This is what, man, I'm asking Jesus, help me, Lord. I know the, the power of faith. This whole world was created on faith. By faith, God spoke in existence, you know. Faith is the simplest thing hoped for. You know, we ain't going to run and ask stuff out of God's will. Nobody needs to do that. But you try to pray and ask him according to his will. You know, one scripture in James said, we have not because we ask not. We ask and see not because we ask and miss to consider upon our love. But let me tell you something. I try not to ask stuff on my love. Not those natural, carnal love. I'm, I don't mind lusting for things of God. I don't mind lusting for, you know, I be praying. I tell God, God, I don't mind lusting for Ask for lust for stuff that only is godly, it's spirit, it's something that something of you. I don't mind hungering for it, lusting for it, begging it, asking. I ain't want this old world of stuff. But the Bible says that faith is the supper thing you hold for. But folk, it is, and that's true. I know a lot of times people walk around and say stuff like that for all faith, but listen, that's a place we got to get in Jesus Christ. That's a place we got to we got to get that confidence, get got to get that conviction. Thank God, because we don't, if we don't believe that thing from my heart, we can say stuff that ain't come from my heart, forget about it. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to never happen. That's a play we got to get all doubt out of and believe. I believe everything. I, I minister at church. I, said, I, I believe I, I, God said there's a door right there in that wall. I believe there's a door. Give me the faith to start walking. Whether I can see the door or not. Because this is the power of faith. This is the power of faith. It's honest contend for that faith. Listen, we ain't wrestling. You wrap his spirits out there that don't want you to make it. You got wrap his spirit out there, man, that's keep coming against you, that's troubling you. I know you got situations, probably in your home and play like that, you need God to. And we wrap these spirits in principalities, you know, rule of darkness. But you no, know, we got we gotta be determined for we gotta be we gotta see God as and I see him moving. We gotta see God somewhere. We this gotta get in our hearts. God. I believe you. And Lord, help me hold fast to you, Lord. Increase my faith. Do what you need to do for me. Thank God to believe this. That situation, God, that needs to be moved. That situation that needs to be worked out. That thing, that's problem that really needs to be moved. Thank God, God help me get in a place where I can say this stuff. Believe it in my heart. Don't doubt. Think of that place. God still, he ain't going away. He'd be there. He'd be there to help you if you just take time out. And said, God help me. This is what I'm doing. Now, I know we come up short. We, we probably missing out on stuff that we could have if, if, if our faith, like Jesus said, well, we probably missing on stuff, missing out on stuff. If we can get out, of, and, and, you know, we trying to live for God, trying to be Christian. We ain't going to have the Rolls Royces and and Lil Jets, and we ain't after stuff like that. All those material stuff. We ain't, we after spiritual thing, and I and think. That I need to be met. Things of God. Things that's in God will. So, but but yet, even in that, there's things that we feel like maybe in God will that we haven't gotten it. We got to get a place where we start speaking this stuff. Speak it in existence. Speak it. Believe it. No, you can't see it. Believe it anyway. Yeah. Know that it's there. Be on that conviction. Yeah, it's there. See, I need transportation. Bad for the work. But I, I, I believe it. I confess it's there. So, I don't see no crowd. Yeah, I see it out there. I can see it. I can see transportation. I'm under conviction that it's out there, sitting in my driveway. 
This is what faith, the Bible says, is. Faith is something mighty powerful. Mighty powerful. If we can get it. If we can get a hold of it. If we can get it. It is powerful. God never put this stuff in the Bible. He didn't mean it. If he didn't mean that we can act what we will, he never put that. Numb said he ain't no man that he should lie. Neither son of man. If God didn't mean that what he said, thank God he would never have this stuff put in the Bible. Then turn around and ask us to believe it. Ask us to stand up on it and know it ain't going to work. Uh-uh. God don't do stuff like that. He don't put stuff in the Bible and know it ain't going to work. Just telling us something to make us feel good. God don't do stuff like that. And the way of God, God word is ever settled in heaven. The Bible says it's ever settled in heaven. It ain't going to be disannulled. It ain't going to be torn down. It ain't going to be destroyed. It's us. God help us. I'm, God help me to get in a place. I believe you, God. I, I'm, so you're crazy. Yeah, I may be crazy, but that's all right. Let me be crazy. I believe the word of God stand forever. I believe the word of God is ever settled in heaven. I believe the word of God will not be removed. Whatever God said, I believe that's just the way it is. That's God help us to. And I'm reaching out, God help me. I need something from you. I need more help from you. I need more strength from you, God. I need deliverance. And Lord, help me to believe and stand on it. Lord, help me to honest contend for this. Man, this faith that we want to deliver them to the same. I mean, a faith with. Oh, you know, Peter, Peter, James, John went in the temple and then asked their three, said, Seven go have I none, but such I have. Oh, listen, you hear this? Seven go have I none, but such I have. Give I thee. Thank God, man. They said, In the name of Jesus Christ, and there's a rise up and walk. Thank God. Man, that was that faith that they had. They believed that faith, you know, that they had. They got in that place. Listen, what I have, it ain't selling gold. But what I do have, I'm giving in the next rise up. Man, get, he, take your, accept your deliverance. Man, don't you want to get in a place? Man, you pray for people and pray for people and all this stuff, man. Look like, and God tell us, man, that, that we can say what we will. Honestly, folks, we got to honest content. And I am. I encourage you. I just contend for this faith. Know it's out there for you. No God word is, is true. It's ever self. Know it's there. And ask God, God to help me to get, get to this place. We, 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 we got to get in this secret place with God. As the Father help me. Man, you know, I feel so short. I feel so little. I feel so inequipped. I feel so at the answer. But God just have mercy. Then I you know what? Then I turn around and go back to God. Thank you for your mercy. I said, God, just have mercy for me. I may not be equipped for stuff. I may not be qualified for this. God, have mercy upon me and keep me and sustain me and bless me. God, through your mercy and grace, and they may not own nothing. May not own, own nothing. May not, you know, be qualified for nothing. But God, through your grace and mercy, have mercy. We can do all things through Christ Jesus. Like Paul said, thank God. But God, through your grace and mercy, help me. I may not be qualified for it, but by your grace and mercy, help me. Help me, Lord. I, oh, I'm, 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 man, I'm asking God. I'm asking the Lord. I'm always contend for God. Help me. Bring me greater into this place. Give me a place, a, a greater place than faith. A greater place, trust in you. You know what? I'm believing God's going to help me. I'm believing the Lord's going to help me. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out everything God does. And I'm reaching out for all the people. I pray God. Sustain them, preserve them, and keep them. Listen, this is what Luke, man, look, we're going to get in that place with God, you know. We got to honest contend for it. We got to seek for it, you know. Just don't say it. Man, I, I got you in my prayer. I'm at, as God has got to help us to be how much of one in our prayer. Well, he said the affection for every prayer of the rise of Bellis much to Jesus. Holy God is Jesus help us to let that word be true. That scripture be true on our behalf. It bellies much. Thank God. Listen to what Luke. Luke 13 and verse 24 says. That's one verse there. Strive. Entering at the straight gate. I say unto you. I say unto you. But men, I say unto you, will seek to enter in. It's just not uh, Jesus doesn't, doesn't follow his strive. And we, we got to strive to enter into this place of faith. We got to strive. Anything, and in this place where God's word is 
Romans says it's in our mouth that word of faith. Faith come by here in the word of God. So we got to strive to get into that place. Jesus telling us, telling us, telling the disciples, to strive to enter in. Strive. Strive to get there. Strive. And for we got to strive. That's a place out there for that is a that is such a place. That's a such a place. Thank God where we can say what we will. If it wasn't so, the Bible never said. I believe that's a place out there in Christ Jesus that we can say what we will. And it shall be done. But you know what we got to do? We got to strive to get to that place. We can't just run around and say we are Christians and, and think it's just going to happen automatically. You know, you got a devil you got to wrestle against. You got, man, principality you got to fight against. You got stuff out there, thank God, that's fighting against you. We just can't say this stuff. Maybe we got to find our way. You got to fight our way, press our way into this thing. And say, God, help us. So, my brother, you think that ever happened? I know that happened. Ain't no thinking to that. I know to happen. That plays out there for us. Everybody, folk, you. Set your faith. Set your faith to get to this place. Man, let this be your goal. Oh, let it be more precious to you than anything else. Man, when you're allowed to get in a place where you can say what you will, when you're allowed to get in a place where you can stop this devil, you can tell the devil, Satan, sit down. Satan behave. Satan loose them. Let them go. Satan get out of my way. Thank God Satan be moved. Would you, would you love to get in a play like that? I would thank God. Just tell that devil. Just like Jesus is loose them. You know, Jesus didn't worry about that devil. He just don't loose them. Be peace. Be free. Be open. He was he, Jesus had that. Jesus had that play. Had that place in God. He had that place of faith. Thank God he didn't wrap. G ain't rapping, ain't never rest with nothing. He just spoke the word. And the Bible said, thank God. You know, Lord, Lord uh, told me a long time ago there was a there was a spoken word ministry coming on, a spoken word revival coming on. And I don't know when, but look at it's gonna be. It's not, I'm talking about real spoken word. I'm not talking about something we imagine and stuff. I'm talking about a real spoken word. I'm talking about something that God is speaking. Spoken word of God. I know we're saying things now. That old fellow on the TV got this old mega church minister speaking that stuff. God, you need, we need God to talk to us. We need God. And when God, he don't lie. And when he says stuff, thank God, that's the way it is. That's the way it's going to be. Spoken word. And I believe that. I believe we can speak. But we will. We get into that place. Thank God. That place of faith. Faith, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't you. You ain't how strong you are. It ain't how strong you are. It ain't make you strong. It's that place of faith. You know, it don't make them. I, 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 listen. Paul told Jesus, move this thing from it. I, I'm tired of Jesus. Listen to Paul. So my strength is made perfect in weakness. My strength is made perfect in weakness. I ain't, don't you worry about how strong you are. Thank God said so the race ain't given to the, the battle ain't given to the strong. Don't worry how strong you are. Thank God, look here. My strength is made perfect in weakness. Don't worry about how strong you are. Thank God just be in this place of faith. Yes, ask God, God, give me this faith. Help me as content, but I may not be strong. Jesus, I'm not, not looking for your strength no way. Thank God, I, I done paid the price for you. Man, I done made it well. I done made everything. I done paid the whole thing for you, for your benefit, for your So we're not relying on your strength. Don't rely on your strength. I have paid the price. I have made everything all right for you. I have made everything well. I have laid out the foundation for you. I made a play for you, so don't be relying on your strength. I just want you to have faith. Have faith in me. Have faith in my word. Thank God. I'm not asking, thank God for your strength. I'm asking you to have faith in my word. And faith. See, get to that place. Thank God, folk. Jesus, look at my strength and made perfect. My grace is sufficient for you, Paul. My strength is made perfect through weakness. Thank God. I'll be running around talking about how strong, how, well, I ain't strong. I'm strong. Look, God look for faith. He ain't looking at you. The Bible says, be strong in the Lord. And power of might. Have your trust. Have your confidence. Jesus had paid the price. Man, Jesus went to the cross. He didn't suffer. He went through everything. Thank God that we'll be hid in him. That's why the scripture will be complete in him. Thank God. When you get in him, thank God. You ain't got to rely on your strength. You rely on the strength of the Lord. You rely on him to keep you. You rely on him to preserve you. You rely on him to sustain you. And this is what I ask God because I don't feel strong. A whole lot of time I don't feel strong. I feel that God, I said, Lord, this is you bought me, Lord. You paid the price. And I belong to you. God, help me to believe that. Help me to be 
believe that I'm hearing you. Help me to believe, Lord, that you got me covered with your feathers. And God, that I'm in under your wings, I'm trusting. Thank God for strive to get that. Jesus told me in Luke this strive. Strive to get in this place. Strive to get this. There is a play, real place out there. In Jesus Christ, we got to strive for it. Shoot, ask God to help us get that. I believe. So, brother, are you sure it's crazy? Yeah, I may be crazy, but that's all right. I don't mind being this kind of crazy. I was crazy when I was out there drinking all that alcohol and stuff like that and staying out at night and getting drunk and going to sleep, about to burn the house down, running into stuff. I was showing up crazy then. Nobody called me crazy then, but I was showing up crazy then. And then when you start trying to believe in God for all this old, look like the Bible said for us to have this reckless faith, you start believing God for all this reckless faith, uh, reckless faith stuff, then the people will say you're crazy. Let them call you crazy. Don't matter. Don't make no difference to me. Thank God. That's something we need from God. And if it take us being crazy, let us be crazy. They say, I do crazy. They say, you're crazy. Well, yeah, I do crazy. Thank God. That's something that God has for us. Thank God. You know, we're coming up short. The Bible said they limit the whole of one of his what? Through unbelief. They limited God. Father, help. I'm not, I'm, I'm talking this to me and everybody else that are hearing this message. Thank God we limit God. Thank God through unbelief. We limit the whole, through unbelief. The unbelief. Not that we are so strong. Not that we are so, Jesus is our perfection. Jesus is our perfection. He, 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 it's in him that we are complete. Thank God, said, Lord, I'm not fit. I'm not worried. I'm not quite. God, I ain't, I ain't good enough. Let, let me tell you something. We ain't good enough. Never be good enough. But it's in, that's why I tell you, folks, be hid in Jesus. Be wrapped up in Jesus. Be tied up in Jesus. Thank God. He's the answer for everything today. In Him, thank We're complete in Him. Don't ever go out and rely, rely on yourself. Yeah, you live for Jesus. You live a clean, saved life. Sanctified life. Live a holy life. The best of your ability. But thank God it's all in Jesus. Jesus, I have paid the price. When he went to the cross, he said, it's finished. Hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. He said, it is finished. It's finished. Thank God. I done pressed through for you. Thank God I done pressed through. I done paid through. I done overcome everything. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. I, I done fought, fight, so you won't have to fight. Oh, my God. Strive to enter in, folks. Strive to get in this place with God. I am. And would you like to see Jesus move for you? If you can ask God to just, and, and he'll do it for you. Thank God. Elizabeth Philip, you say, I, I appreciate you for being along with me. And listen to what Philippians 3 say. I'll be reading from verse 14. Listen to what verse 14 says. Philippians 3, verse 14. Paul said, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in God. Paul said, I'm pressing for that mark. He said, I don't claim I have anything, but no, don't. I'm forgetting about that stuff. I'm pressing. That there's a place. That's a high call. And there's a place. I am pressing for that mark. Paul went on say, I fought a good fight. I finished my court. He said, man, I pressed through all this stuff. And I'm pressing for that mark. I'm pressing for that place in God. This is what we got to do. We're pressing. Tell me that God's going to, he's going to grant, he's going to grant it to us. And I often say, and John, I believe the sick, he said, if, it, if all that God have given me, I've lost none. The Father, I've lost none. And all they give me coming to me. And he'll come to me. I would know why I cast out. Thank God. We pray. Jesus see us pressing in this place of faith. Hunger for it. You know, the guy in Matthew 25, I believe he, uh, the, the, the trade he in the field, the, the, the guy went out and sold everything he had, sold everything, and bought the whole field. He said, man, I got to have this thing. I got to, I'm selling out everything. I'm, I'm got to have, sell out all your doubt and disbelief. All oh, them old, old wretched friends that you got that trying to make you doubt, make you disbelieve, trying to tell you, well, you know, God don't do this. Uh, they're just in the Bible time. Listen, don't believe it. Look, shut your ears to them. Hold your peace. Call them a devil. Say, Lucy or Satan. Yeah, you tell them that time, they won't bug, bug to no more. Lucy, you foul devil. You, they won't be bugging no more, but they'll stay away from you. They shouldn't have called you crazy then. Man, they call me a devil. Thank God. That's what Jesus called Peter. Said, Get behind me, Satan. You're finished. And here Jesus, uh, Peter trying to speak up for Jesus. Trying to say, no, this ain't going to happen to you, Jesus. Get behind me, Satan. You offend me. So you say the thing that not to be of God, but the thing that be of man. So listen, I, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not here. My eyes, my attention, my affection is not upon this world. My desire is not to do the world of thee, but to plead my father within heaven. He said, Peter, get behind me. You offend me. You don't care for the thing that be of God. Jesus, I care for the thing that be of God. 
thing that be of heaven, but you care for the thing that be of man. Thank God when they come to you and say, listen, listen, get behind me. I'm reaching out for God. I'm trying to find Jesus. I'm trying to get in this place that Jesus was at. You know? Thank God, Paul's I'm pressing. I press toward that place. Folk, you press. Press toward that place. That place of faith. You know? It's the substance of things over from the evidence. You got to get so where you believe so in your heart that can't nothing take it out. Can't nothing snatch it away. Can't nothing snatch it away. So. I believe it. So, so brother, sister, listen, I believe it. So I'm convinced that it's happened. I'm convinced that it's so. I may not can see it, but I am convinced that it's so in a way. So I'm not going to back up off this. I'm not going to back away from it. I'm not going to get up off it. I am convinced. I'm under that conviction that it's so in a way. And, oh, and there's a great play we can find in Jesus. Uh, and a, uh, I hope this word gets in your hearts and making you realize that, listen, God, your word is, God, God's word is all powerful. It's mighty. No failure in it. And, and I hope this gets your heart and makes it to God. Help me. Me and somebody talking this morning, I said, look, I believe God. What I see is not, I believe God. And this is what God said. He that comes to me must first believe that he is. And he's rewarded them that diligently seek him. Thank God. But we got to keep believing God. The Bible says a lot of them died. Thank God, believing, looking for that promise. They, 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 they didn't never did get it, but they died believing. They died in faith. Thank God. Let me tell you something. You keep this faith. Of, find it. Always, there's going to always be a place in God that we hadn't reached. We keep coming. God bring us to one place in him. Thank God that's another place up there that we're going to desire. I mean, that's just, I'm listening. That, that, that spirit of God is being up. You know, you you pay this milestone, thank God that's another milestone. That's another uh, that's another depth of Jesus. That's another depth of hunger. That's another depth of, of, of desperation in that you want to get to that place. God then brought you here and you thought that'd be good to be satisfied. And when you get in this place for God, thank God there's something else that there's another step further that you're trying to reach. God somewhere. God see us always hung, hung for and always designed to get in that in that place that's just beyond. We get there, that's another place just beyond there. We're trying to get there. Think that's the way the Spirit of God works in you. It should always be wanting to get to that higher height than God. In that deeper depth. Let me tell you something. God, somewhere we are we are be determined, have our mind made to be determined. God, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna have this though. I'm gonna have it. You told me I can have it. God, I'm going to have, I'm going to get this place. We fight for it. We strive for it. We lay aside every weight and sin for it. We can get that place. Thank God, Luke. Jesus told Philip, Paul said, I press for that mark. This is what we got to do. Keep on pressing. Don't stop pressing. You may not be able to receive it yet. That's don't make no difference. Just don't stop pressing. You keep on hanging in there. Don't you give up. Don't stop. Thank God. You know? Because you don't see it happen right now. You know, Paul, uh, Isaiah prophesied that a virgin is going to conceive and bring forth a child. A virgin, somebody man that never knew a man, that's going, but she's going to get pregnant. Isaiah believed that, so he prophesied it, didn't he? No, he didn't see it. He didn't get a chance to see it, but let me tell you something. It happened. Somebody saw it. Thank God it happened. Thank God. So listen, you keep, you keep fighting. You keep striving. You keep pressing. And Paul said, I pressed. Now, I've been through a lot of stuff. I kept praying. It didn't stop me. It didn't deter me. I kept fighting. He said, man, I've been in prison, been beat with rods. I think I've been in the deep, man, been in peril of, of my brother, peril of my own countrymen, perils of the heathen. He said, you know what? I kept pressing. I think I knew there was a place. And Paul said, now, now there is a crown of life. He said, I fought a good fight. I finished my fight. I kept it. And now there is a crown of life laid up for me. You know what Paul kept pressing, striving to get in that place with God. You know? Paul kept only contending for it. Paul said, oh my God. Now there's a place laid up for me. There's a crown of right laid up for me now. Think that Paul, folks, don't give up. Please, don't you give up. You keep, you keep, I don't care what the devil say about you. I don't care how you, listen, thank God you know you. Thank God you know what your motive is. You know what your intent You know you love God, although you may not be in God in that place. And God, I love you, but I may not be in the place where you, but I ain't going to give it up. 
I'm going to honest contend. I'm going to honest contend for that place in you. I'm going to I'm going to seek for it. Listen. Acts 27. Oh, man, ain't the Lord good? Don't you love him? I do. Man, I really appreciate the Lord. Look what Paul says here. Acts 27, verses 18 to 25. Verse 18, 18, 18 through 25. I'm trying to get my 18 out right. Like this ain't coming out right. But how many know this is all right? I was talking to somebody this morning. They said, Brother, are you? They, they were saying, I said, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that we was uh, speaking God and it's trying to be serving God. So sometimes you worry, you start listening. We are what we are. And then you're trying to pretend. And then you're trying to put on a, 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 a show. And you're trying to get out here and, and try to say all big fans of words and all this kind of stuff. We are what we are. When we get through all that stuff, we are what we are. Don't make no difference how much we put on, how much we pretend, how much we pretend to be this and be that and all fancy speech and all this stuff. We are what we are. I, Jesus said, listen here, thank God you old scribes and that man said you lack white as separate because you appear outward beautiful on the outside. But inward you're full of dead men bones and you appear this stuff outward and people see you. But inside, you're still dead. You're still full of extraordinary stuff. So we are what we are. We don't even try to put on no show. Enemy try to pretend this and pretend that. I am what I am. By the grace of God, I am what I am. By the grace of God, you are what you are. Don't have to try to put on. Just, just don't try to convince people that maybe up to the, consider themselves be a high grade or high standard. Thank God, don't you worry about them people. You are what you are anyway. So don't need to pretend. I told myself, I ain't pretending. I'm not going I'm not pretending like I'm this like that and you know get up and say, oh yes, uh we're gonna speak to you today. Uh uh we're gonna come from the book of Luke and and I pray that God listen all that kind of hogwash. I ain't into that stuff. I ain't bothered about that kind of stuff. Let's speak words that people can hear. Plain words. Word that God will honor, word that God will pick up, word that God will acknowledge to help us and leave all that stuff. We got so many of that stuff now going on. And it ain't who they are. Ain't got to catch them out somewhere, man. They're, they're talking more country than anybody else. You know what I mean? Look. But let me tell you something. I am what I am by the grace of God. And I'm going to speak. I'm trying my best to speak Jesus. I'm trying my best to bless you. I'm trying my best to strengthen you. I'm trying to be that shepherd that God is called for. You know, we may not be together, but you still got to be fed. I still got to minister to those of you that are. That, that I minister, those that you go to church, some of you that don't go to church, that other places. I have people calling from other places. We watch it. We're watching your, we watch your, your cast, your, your live screaming, and it's a blessing. Look, we still got to feed people. We still got to minister to people. We may not be that faith to faith, but we still got to minister to people, feed to people, strengthen the people, encourage people, call them to hold on. Thank God, give them church. If you may not be in the building, give them church. Thank God. I mean, good church. Somebody's well. That's what wrong people church. No, not the real church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll be in my church, Peter. And the gates of hell shall not be so Jesus ain't down in church. He's down in this old false church. He's down in this old, old stuff that people pretend and stuff. The church is here to stay. And the gates of hell ain't going to prevail again. So we still got to give people church, which is the gospel. Give people Jesus. Let me read a little bit more. I appreciate it. What we're getting Acts 1, Acts 27, verses 18. Listen to what it says. And we being exceedingly tossed with the tempest. The next day, they lighten the ship. This Paul now, they've been in the, it's out on the sea, you know. Before his ship wrecked, Paul had already warned, look, we don't need to take this voyage. It's going to be danger. Listen to this. And we being exceedingly tossed with the tempest, just like with some of us today, being, listen, oh my God, half eight, believe God. Paul said, we being exceedingly tossed with the tempest. The next day, they lighten the ship. Man, maybe that's what we need to lighten some of this load off of us. And the third day we cast out with our own hand the tackling, the, all the apparatus, the, the equipment, stuff of the ship. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved were then taken away. But after a long absence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, ye should have hearkened, have hearkened unto me. And not have loosened from Crete, and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship, 
For there stood by me this night an angel of God who I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer. For I believe God that it should be, even as it was Paul said, be of good, I believe God. And all this storm that we're going through and all this stuff that happened, Paul said, I believe God. Think of Paul, I went through some stuff, think about through, through all that stuff he went through. He still sees that I believe God. We got, to, we got to believe the word of God. We got to fight, strive, pray, contend for it. And Paul could have, Paul could have had a good enough reason to listen to him, man, we ain't going to make it. The man, man, everything is going on, we ain't going to make it. And even the ship eventually got broke all up into pieces. But God told us to listen to it. Paul told people to listen to it. I believe God it should be. Folks, we got to believe God that it be. Even as he told us to listen to it. If you have faith at the sign of Saint, at the, as a grain of mustard seed, say unto this mountain, speak to this fig tree. We got to believe God. Paul said, I believe God that it should be. Even that ever told me, Lord, have told us. Speak unto the mountain. Say what you will. Decree a thing. I was praying. This morning or last night, as God, you told us the clear thing and shit, not because of who we are, not because we, but because you're worried, God. You said the clear thing and it shall be established. As God, I decree, I decree, God, according to your will, I decree righteous decree. I don't decree evil stuff. I don't decree stuff that make me look like I'm something. But I, I dec and most time I decree is on somebody else's behalf. It's for somebody else. It's for somebody else to be helped. Somebody else to be strengthened. Somebody else to be delivered. That God make a way for somebody else. I, I decree you, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, man. I'm, I'm believing God right now. I, I, that's the way. Man, I tell you, I believe God that's the way. I'm believing God my, for my relatives. Thank God that God, I believe that's a way from it. Somebody said, oh, you believe? Yes, sir. I'm at Rick. I believe God. He's God. You, you hear me, folks? I mean, God is God. And he always will be God. I'm believing God. Thank God that there's a way out, some kind of way for him. That God will deliver him, that God can break up all this old stuff, loose every chain, every yoke, every burden that the devil had put out, every situation, thank God, every snap, thank God, every dish that the devil laid out there, the hinder, I believe there's a way God can bring bring them through it. He can bring them through every every situation, every trial, every test that God that the devil put out there. I believe God. Thank God there's a way out, and I'm standing on God's word. I said, God, I believe you. I'm standing on your word, God. I know I may not explain this stuff, but God, I'm standing on your word. I'm believing you. Help me to believe it, God. Oh, because you are God, and all things are possible with you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm believing God, folks, and God can work this thing out. You see a way? No. Pause a minute. Oh, this ain't no star, no nothing but men and I. All hope then was taken away that we'd be saved. He said, Says, I believe God that it should be, even as told me. Thank God, somewhere we got to believe through all this doubt. We got to look through and see Jesus, all this stuff that's going on, every situation that's so dark. Believe, thank God, there's light somewhere. I believe, thank God, there's light somewhere that you can, oh God, oh my God, I tell you. I said, God, I thank you, Father. I believe it. I'm believing, I'm striving, I'm, I'm letting I'm, I'm diligently. I'm just going to tend for. Oh, my God, people, you just don't know. I believe God is God, and I believe He's Almighty. And can I believe there's a way out? But I don't. There's no way that Mary could get pregnant without a man's seed. There's no way. It's just impossible. Hmm? Everything said of well, you know, there's got to be a relationship between a man and a woman, but you got to. But if you ever know it, you know it. Isaiah prophesied anyway. And guess what? That was God's will that came to pass anyway. You know. Even Mary said, listen, I, ain't, I don't know not a man. How can this stuff be? I don't know not a man. They said, man, the Holy Ghost overshadowed you. Because with God, all things, folk with God, all things, he can turn that situation around. Thank you, Father. I said he can turn that situation around. He can turn that situation completely around. Brother Michael, so the Angie turn around for you in your y'all situation, brother. Your son, he's turning stuff around. Thank God. Man, I need to read a little more because this is a content for it. There is a place, a super place in God that we can get to. We can get to. 
with clean film. Reach out to him. Thank God. Listen here. Matthew 26. I got a couple more scriptures. I don't, I don't think I'm holding you over time, but I got a, maybe a couple of scriptures. I'm gonna, but let me tell you, I really appreciate God. I believe, I look at God help me. I may be foolish, but let me be foolish. I may be crazy, but let me be crazy. Thank God we serve an almighty, a living God. I'm telling you, oh God that spoke the will in existence. This is we serving today. We're not, we're not serving a lesser God today than it was in the beginning. Thank you, Jesus. This is what Matthew 26 say. Oh, I feel I feel his presence here. I tell you, I feel Jesus' presence here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Man, I get excited. I get excited about talking about Jesus. I get excited. Because I know what kind of God he is. And he telling us that he come, he come for our benefit. He left all this stuff out there. He don't, Jesus don't need all this stuff. He left all this stuff. Word the scripture left it left it for our benefit for, for our help. You know. Tell them, thank God to realize that what you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And the thing you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. So if you lose it on earth, if you absolutely bind it on earth, if you bind your heart through faith, he's denied turn around and I I ordain it to be so in heaven. But I want you to do it on it. I want you to don't be staggering, don't be waving, don't be doubtful. Bind this thing. He said, when you do that, I'll amen it in heaven. I'll okay. I put my approval on it in heaven. But we got to we, we got to God help us to faith in it. Ain't, faith is what does this. Faith is what does this. Faith in God. Faith is, is what does this stuff, folks. It ain't it ain't you. It ain't me. It, it's faith in God. God wants us to believe in him, wants us to trust him. Wants us to take his word and know that thank God that, that his word is with power. His word is with power. You want to believe that. Trust him. Listen, this is what Matthew 26 and verse 36. Give me another minute. I pray this word helps you. I pray. Thank God, don't get discouraged because things ain't happening yet. Look, let's keep us contending for it. Let's keep honest contending for it. You know, I'm, just, I'm every day honest contending for it. You know, never fight my body. And so often you say, boy, you walk back to your mama and I'm just there. That's all right, but I'm honest, I'm still I'm honest contending for it. Listen, Matthew 26 and 36. And I'll be reading down to this 42nd verse. Just read along with me, will you? Then coming Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto his disciples, Sit ye here while I go yonder, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Jesus, my soul is. is Exceedingly sorrow, even unto death. Jesus, I, I mean, I just by come to, to the point of death. I come to just by come to the end of my road. But this is what the scripture said then. My soul exceeds sorrow, even unto death. I, I don't come. But you know what the word? That's that old human part. That's that flesh part of me. Of Jesus, that's that fleshly part. You know, God came down and He created that flesh, made that flesh, and He lived in that flesh. But this, this flesh part of me, man, my soul exceeds sorrow. Man, we may get that play right now. Man, look like I'm at the end of my road. Look like, but I'm going to read on and let you hear what he's saying here. He's my soul exceeding with sorrow. But you know what? Jesus didn't stop there. He didn't give a thank God. He, oh, that flat man. Let me tell you something, folks. You, you, you endure. You, you honestly contend for it. Jesus here, honestly contend for that play. Honestly contend. Listen, let me, let me read on. This. And my soul exceeded the sovereign even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on their face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And he comes unto the disciples and findeth them asleep. And saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch ye. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing 
but the flesh is weak. The spirit is willing. That this flesh is weak. Oh man, Jesus was willing. I mean, he was eating, but he knew what he had to do. He knew what he had to do. But that old flesh depart. Thank God, begin to call out, cry out. Man, our spirit, our spirit is willing, but our flesh is weak. That's why we don't put no comfort in this flesh. We, we be hid in Jesus. Because this flesh is going to, when they have to go through stuff, man, it's going to scream. It's going to cry. It's going to try to wiggle out of stuff. He said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, you know your spirit is willing. You want to do this. You want to do that. But that flesh sometimes would cause us to come up short. Listen. But the flesh is weak. Verse 42. And he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thine will be done. He, un Jesus, there honestly, honestly contend. Think of that play that God has called him to be. Oh, his flesh began to say, Oh, suffer this cup to pass. And Jesus knew he was going what he was going through, the, the, the test and the trial, the being beaten, and spit on, humiliated. And bearing that cross and going up there being being uh, nail driven in hand and riveted in the side and spears and all this stuff. Jesus knew that flesh began to cry out. That thy will suffer this cut back. But Jesus, you know what? Jesus, he only man, he had to under contend. Lord, if it be thy will, suffer this cup of path for me, but not my will, thy will. He honestly, honestly, contented, under contented for the flesh wanted to do one thing, but oh. But we got to honest contend for this faith. That we want to live under the saint. You know? Honest contend for it. Jesus, honest. He did it for me. He did it for you. You know? Oh, that he's, man, I'm going to do this battle where you want to fight. And I'm, I'm going to the uh, uh, cross where I'm going to die where you won't have to die. Thank God. Thank God. I'm going to go in the grave and come up the third day with newness of life where you can have newness of life. He says, it's all done for you. It's been done for you. But you know what? You're under content for it. Or you say, well, Jesus we got you. Yeah, but have a flesh too. And every time they hit Jesus, they hurt. When they put them straps on back, he was not some kind of God. That that Thank God. But he was the son of God. But man, when he went in the grave, he died out. Come up to the grave, he, he come up with all power. God Almighty, all power now. Everything God was, Jesus is. Thank God. He's all power now. In heaven, he's been put into my hand. It's in my hands now. And that flesh, when they were whipping him, that flesh, it hurt. He felt the pain. He felt the agony. But thank God, he he only continued. He, he continued through all that. Oh, look at the reward he got. When he come up out of the grave, all power. Now, heaven and earth has been given it to my, all power. Been given into my hand. He uns content. For we got to uns content for this. You don't see it happen right now? Uns content. Keep on. Keep seeking for it. Keep looking for it. Keep calling out on Jesus. Thank God. Somebody. Brother, how come you talk about Jesus? Because he's, 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 he's the way, the truth, and life. Everything we need. Everything we got to have. Thank God. This is one more scripture. Daniel. Daniel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go from there. Daniel 3. Daniel 3. And I, I'm, I'll, maybe I'll just read Well, I read. 14 through 17. It's a lot of good reading and you can because I know you probably read it umpteen times before, but if you feel like go back reading again, it'll be okay. I'm not gonna read all this stuff. I'm just gonna read a few, few verses here, but I want to encourage you to honest content for honest content. Honest content for this faith. It's the subtle thing open, the evidence of thing not seen. Uh, man, honest content until you can get in that place where you can believe it. And you can believe it, and know God's gonna do it, know it's gonna happen. Know it's going to be so anyway. Thank God. Daniel 3, verses 14 through 17. Nebuchadnezzar, that's more reading of it, but I won't read that. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true? Do not ye serve my God, my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. So is that true? Is this true right here that you're not going to serve my God in the golden image which I set up? Now if you be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, heart, sackbut, posture, and ducema, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have set up. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. 
and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? You know, he had set, set them boys up over all the province of Babylon, made them, made them overseers, and, and then here they wouldn't bow. Man, he set up some kind of rule to bow to the image, and here he done set them people up, put them up in a position, but yet they wouldn't bow. They said, that, it's just true. I hear this report about you. The brother, I'm not here to put about you. Just talk about Jesus. Like, it's true. It's true. So Shadrach, Meshach, and I, you know, I often say sometimes just the kind of humor. I said, Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. You know, I, I say it's kind of humorous, you know. But. Listen to me. He said, I'm going to deliver you. Who can? What God is that that can deliver you out of, out of my hand? Thank God. If you don't bow, I'm, I'm giving you over to the... But God, that God, his name is Jesus, folks. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king, Never, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful. We have no need to answer thee in this matter. This is what it said. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire front. Listen to this. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. They believe. They done went through all that stuff that he will deliver. We believe our God can deliver us, and we believe God that he will deliver us. They went through some stuff, you know, they believe God. Folks, you got to believe God that God's going to deliver you. That the Lord's going to... Oh, it's going to for us. You don't see it happening now? Thank God. Oh, it's going to for us. Stay with God. Say, Father, I believe you. I believe you're going to deliver me. I believe you're going to break that joke. Off of my children, my grandchildren, off my loved one that believe God. Yeah. Stay with God, boy. Stay with God, boy. Let me tell you something. It ain't what we see. And we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith anyway. And we stay with God and believe God. Somebody that make you crazy, make you look crazy. Yeah, it may make you look crazy, man. They're about the craziest people I ever known. Man, they believe in God, but they believe God. They say, I believe God will deliver us. He will deliver us. Thank God. Give him a hand and pray with you. We appreciate the Lord. I, I thank the Lord for blessing us again today. It's, it's, it's been a blessing. It's really been a blessing to thank God to be here with you. I appreciate you for joining with us. And I pray this word helped you so I pray this word in case. Right now, but we need this. We're going through a lot of things, going through this old virus thing, but and we need to believe God that God can keep us and protect us and shield. And we're gonna we're gonna ask you to join him. I'm gonna pray with you. I'm gonna agree with you. Listen, I want you to believe God. This word that we minister today, I want you to believe God with me. He's able, he's still on the throne, folks. He's able to deliver. Don't be don't be upset and worried about because you don't see things happening right now. Don't worry about that. You know, just believe God in the way. The God I'm gonna believe you. Thank God this. Will he deliver us now? We don't know. One thing about it, we ain't going to bow. We believe God. He believe he's going to deliver us. That's what we got to do. I want you, you got a need. You got a need. I want you to. Thank God. I want you, I'm going to join in with you. you believe God with me. Holy Father. God of heaven and of earth, Lord, we thank you today. Jesus, I really appreciate you, Father, for this word, God. I, I need this myself. I need this. Lord, all the words that we've been I be needing it, God. It come to me because, Lord, we we need to find a place in you. And God, imagine you bless these, all those that tune in, God, to hear us. Lord, I, I, I just worry. Lord, let it reach their hearts. Let it reach their mind. God, we don't have a professional word. I don't need it, don't desire it. But I, what I do desire, God, is a anointing, a word from you, that you put approval on the word that we speak, God, that we will speak by your spirit. And Father, today I'm, you, your eyes is in every place. And you know the needs of the people, God. You know what they got up before you. And I'm asking you today, Lord, if you meet this need, grant it to them, God. Give them victory for themselves and victory for their loved ones and victory for their situations. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, we pray. We ask it to be so. Lord, we are thank you for it, God, for moving Brother Greg and Brother Banks and all, all those, what I the core, Lord, I, and all those that, Lord, that shut in, we ask in you, Jesus, that you, oh, Father God, things I can't speak right now, Lord, but you know, but I'm asking you in Jesus' name, Father, to be this God, Lord, I'm, I'm 
I'm lifting you up. I'm exhorting you, God, that you're the almighty God, that all things is possible. And I'm exhorting this name, Jesus. Lord, and I'm asking you, God, to get in there and work. I can't see it, but I'm asking you, Father, to work it out. I believe, and I know you're almighty. Work it out in their favor. Oh, even the secret request, that, that secret request, this thing that people are keeping to themselves. God, you know that. And I'm asking you in Jesus' name, Lord, today. God, by your name, Jesus, and by your authority. God, if you are hearken to this request, this prayer that we pray right now, if you hearken to it, God, and meet that need, answer it, God. You ain't got to tell nobody, God. Just get in there and break that yoke, break that shackle. Oh, Father, in Jesus' name that I pray. Lord, and I thank you, Father, oh, for being with us for having that day. Thank God. Now, give another hand, pray. We, we appreciate the Lord. Thank God. We're going to let you go. We appreciate all of you. Thank God. When them gates swing over, folks. When them gates swing over, don't you want to be able to walk in there? Treat my neighbor. Teach me how to treat my neighbor. Every day I Man, don't you want that? We got to pray for that. We can talk to somebody more. We got to pray to love our neighbor. Love our friend. Love our enemy. Do unto them as we had them and do unto us. We got to pray to get that place in God. And I believe we can get that, folks. God said, Paul, we can all things in Christ that's been there. I believe that. I believe. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. God's going to get us to that place, folks. Thank God. I'm we appreciate you. To come again. Thank you, Father. Keep us in prayer. Bless the service. Ask God to bless you. And tomorrow, we will see you tomorrow. If the Lord be with you. Thank God. God bless you until the next time. Thank God. Until the next time. May God bless. We appreciate everybody.